Hello everyone. We are Malavika and Deepshita. On this occasion of National Science Day, we have challenged ourselves to do 16 experiments and that is about 3 experiments per minute which works out to nearly 18 seconds per experiment. We couldn't achieve it in any of our dry runs but, but we, we have hope. All of these experiments have the stuff you can find at home. You should definitely give them a try. At the end we will be also doing a bonus experiment. Some of them require adult supervision but they are all really fun. Okay, let's go. The first experiment works with the principle of static electricity. Rub a ball against a silk cloth. Now place it near the tissue papers and see what happens. It attracts. Great. The next experiment uses the principle of hydrophobia. Fill water and now evenly spread pepper across the water surface. Now you can see the pepper particles run away when you dip your soapy finger into the water but it does not with plain fingers. That's great. This next experiment tells us that air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Attach a balloon to a plastic bottle. Now place this in a vessel filled with hot water. See what happens. The balloon expands. Now place this in a vessel filled with cold water and see what happens. The balloon contracts. This tells us that air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. You know that things sink or float when placed in water according to their density. But do you think it's possible to make eggs sink as well as float in water? Yes, here is a demonstration where you can observe the egg float in water when it is added with salt. But it does not when it is added in plain water without salt. This next experiment tells us about centripetal force. Drop a penny into a balloon and fill it with air. Now spin it twice and see what happens. The penny keeps spinning due to its motion of centripetal force. Here is a demonstration to explain capillarity. We have taken three glasses, the first one with red colored water and the next one with yellow colored water. Let's place rolled tissue papers connecting the three tumblers. So this experiment takes a lot of time so we've already made this. You can see here we have placed rolled tissue papers and water from both the tumblers passes through the pores in the tissue paper and falls in the third tumbler as orange colored water. water. Here is an experiment to demonstrate atmospheric pressure. I have filled water till the brim of this cup and now I am placing a card on top. Now I am going to tilt it. Oh no Diksta, don't do that. Yes, I am going to tilt it. The water will spill off everywhere. Calm down. This is the magic of atmospheric pressure where the water won't spill off and the card gets attracted to the tumbler. It's really fun playing with balloons, right? Yes, but let's move on to the next experiment. Take an orange peel and a balloon. Bring the peel close to the balloon and squeeze it. You it see, pops. As soon as the uh, droplets of the orange peel juice fall on the balloon, the balloon pops. This is because of the limonene oil which is present in an orange which quickly dissolves the rubber balloon causing it to pop. Our next experiment demonstrates center of gravity. Insert a toothpick between two forks and see how Dikshita uh, balances it on the brim of the tumbler. It stays. See how the edge of the toothpick balances itself on the brim of the tumbler? This is center of gravity. The next experiment uses the principle of surface tension. Have a few toothpicks placed in this pattern. Now let's drop some dish soap and water. This experiment takes some time, so let's come back to this later to see the result. Here's another experiment on inertia. Place an egg on top of a card and now Deepshita is going to flick it. Yes, I have one more. Here we go. It works. Great. Now we are going to do ice fishing. Have a few ice cubes and now place a string on top. Now I am going to add salt. Salt causes a physical change by altering the properties and temperature of the ice cube. 
it freezes and refreezes the string back along with it. Great. Great. You can stack books, blocks or boxes. But have you ever wondered if you can stack liquids? Yes. Now, now we are going to stack liquids. First let's pour honey. Then dish soap. Then corn syrup. Then colored water. Then lamp oil. And finally, vegetable oil. You can see they've arranged themselves according to their densities. They are immiscible due to their difference in densities. Have two balloons of approximately equal size to a stick like this. Now, when you blow slow in the space between them, you might think they go apart, but rather they come closer. Due to the increased wind speed, the air pressure decreases and hence the balloons come closer. Now, Dikshita is going to stand on paper cups. Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible with science. Okay, let me give a try. You see, Dikshita's body weight is equally spread across all the paper cups. Hence, only a paper cup has to support only a portion of her body weight. Here is the most awaited bonus experiment. We are going to blow big, big bubbles. bubbles. So, we have prepared a soap solution. And also this instrument to blow big bubbles. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. We did it! We would like to end this video by telling you that Science is a word that is used to describe a method of organizing our curiosity. It's us, Deepshita and Malavika signing off. Stay tuned for more science updates. Happy, Happy Science, science Day! day.